So I'm playing a 2100 player, so I'm going to get battered in this game. Let's go. All right. Oh, I'm trying to get practicing in the Dutch and everybody's playing E4. It's just so annoying. You're trying to learn an opening and come on, D4, D4. No, never mind. Uh, I'm just going to play this Owens thing. And I don't like it that much, but I do a little bit sometimes. Biggest can't be choosers. Want to practice one opening. It's not happening anyway. So set up like this. Idea is try and not get overrun in the opening. And I'm going to take that. White's going to create a big center. I've got to try and survive the opening. Get rid of this bishop so I can develop castle. Uh, keep the pin in there. And stop push pawns around. It's the general thing. Alright, so I'm going to castle now. Yeah, where's this knight coming here, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this C file's open now, so... Yeah. Do I try and play this? And then bring the knight to this square. And I'm not here, or do I just play knight C6? Let's just play knight c6. Look across. I don't mind, you know, obviously if I draw this game really, because I'm playing someone 2100. So not to get crushed out the opening is stage one. Not to blunder in the middle game is stage two. So I've probably done stage one, although that's still up for uh, debate really, but Stay positive, come on. So I could take here. It's obviously white to play. Yeah, well, I'm going to take there now, so fair enough. But I was going to thinking about bringing the knight in on the bishop, but I can't do that now. So what about a triangle here? Whack a piece on c4. Try and get some play on the c file. Right, let's just do that. If it takes, I'm going to take with the rook, obviously, and then try and, try and just build up against this pawn. That's the plan. Obviously, I can't allow this. So, let's do that. Drop the bishop back, and I will probably have to play g5 and then my king's a little bit the bishop here is also interesting you know, the potential attacks all right so i can see that but Let's just play here. We're on this pawn. Might not be able to take it because we just bring it across. But my idea is just to bring the rook and just pile up against this pawn, this whitewood pawn. I'm not really concerned for any of these moves because if this, I'll just swing the knight into this nice square, which will be banging up against c3. So I'm not concerned. I actually want that. And there's no light squared bishop. So this is fairly well protected. So job done so far. Survived the opening. Not blundered anything yet. But there's plenty of time for that. Got an unfamiliar structure. No doubt why it's got an unfamiliar structure. So Bishop comes back passively. So I want to improve this knight. So one key idea is this. 
can't really immediately do that because I'll be taking here. Then can I just took my king on here and I can always swing over to this file. I ain't got much time to sort of debate. Another idea is this. Move the rook and then we're on this square, but let's let's do this because we don't have to go here, but it also restricts the knight. So if the knight moves, if the rook moves and then the knight moves, I'll just jump into you know f4. Right, so black's uh, white's covering that square, so I can't really do that either. So I'm going to move my queen here. All right, I'm, I'm wanting to try and provoke this move, so I'll move my queen back, and then can divert my knight somewhere else. See, it's not all about white, white, whack on the king side. You know, we may have, I've got I can move the knight around a bit uh, sometimes. Yeah, so do that, provoke that. And then, shall I? Do I prefer this? And then you've got you've got this as well, haven't you? Let's do that. Yeah, all right. That prevents that. It's a fairly good move. Right, so let's wipe this knight this way somewhere. I just come in a pawn here. I can play this. And then the queen has to take, drop the rook back. And the rook will be on this bishop. And my pawn up, so I think that's worth it, right? 2100, and I'm not losing. There you go, common chess patterns. Common chess patterns for you. Free move that, because I expect that's the move. For... My opponent's left the game. You can crave, claim victory. Now, well, it might just be an internet thing. If not, then I'm claiming victory. He's left. He's not happy. He's not happy with the common chess patterns victory. Whoa! All right, nice one. So, didn't get blasted out the opening. Survived the opening with the Owens thing. All right, my opponent might have had internet connection issues. I don't think so. I think they just got the face on. Let's look. Uh, Owens thing. Right. Okay. Good setup. So it blunts this bishop. So if you're interested in a video I did on the Owens, he said I did it as an experiment. I went and played 300 odd games in this audience just to see what the stats were. And uh, you know, I'll post that above if you're interested. It's the Owens experiment. So everything all right so far. Stats prefer white, 56, 51%. But you know, that's kind of to be expected. 40%, 44% win rate for black. Bishop B4 checks the main move, yeah. Castle's fine. Everything's all right so far. I've not done anything wrong. D5, it's suggesting D5. That makes sense. D5. A nice C6. All right. All right at this level anyway. Uh, D5 still. This makes sense. Normally I do just whack these pawns. To try and you know attack this center a little bit. Oh, I have this idea of this C file plan. And now taking, taking. So it's a fair number of games in the database at this position. Uh what we're looking at. Well, no, actually, they're in that many. 28, 28 games. So it kind of database has died been off a little bit here, but that matter. Let's keep going, let's look. So yeah, getting the knight on that square, and now. Now we're about even, slightly better. I sort of prefer black at this point of view because I've got this planner just piling up on c4. And then he loses the bishop. And I think that's a plus, plus for me, losing that light square bishop because can't really be touched on this square. 
and all oh, right, it's a bit double edged doing that, but slightly slightly favors black computer zero zero. So that's a win for me. Zero zero. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you. Uh, let's look. Carry on. Yeah, now we're favoring black slightly. These moves are all fine. Not made any rash mistakes. And then computer likes queen d5 here as well. Just setting up this battery. And yeah, drop the knight back. Because otherwise, just going to lose a pawn. Which you could do, I suppose. You could, you could do this. And lose a pawn. But if that opened the, the g-file... If you know somehow this pawn got we got rid of, we could swing that over, but obviously it doesn't in that position. So you have to drop the knight back, and this is when we go full on common chess patterns, you know, uh, course available and chessable. And rook takes d4 is to move, and my opponent resigns because after takes takes, we're on the bishop, right? And if we go here. We're just on this pawn, which you probably would take this pawn, right? Or you could go on to this, this pawn, and these pawns, that's super weak. So this is just a, a completely winning endgame for black. And it's just that one move tactic. Yeah, that's it. So that's my, my, always been my philosophy. Bumble along out of the opening, and they just win tactically. And move a knight around sometimes when you're trying to be fancy. All right, so take care, goodbye.